Okay, don't start yet. What the hell? No way. No fucking way. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Um, we're playing it, and Paul, Paul, you've never played the Stanley Parable? I have never played this game, and I'm already kind of freaking out because I just played the Octodad. And it was the weirdest game I've ever played, and according to Heath, this will be weirder, and I'm already blown by this trippy ass... It's even got our si Oh! It is. We're not recording the game yet. Hmm. Now, now we are. We are. Um, okay. But see, it's even got our, our, our frame rate in, this, in the corner. Yeah, right here. I'm excited. And freaked out already. And then let's start! The end is never 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 the end. In fact, end is never the end is never the end is loading. Never the end. Is never the end. Is never the beginning of the end. No. What? Oh, I'm scared. Because I really get like... I watch a lot of really fucked up movies, but I never really get like a brain meltdown or anything... But like somehow, if I'm. This is the story of a man. Don't named quite Stanley. anything. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee. You hear? You can hear him, right? Seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Yeah. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. So this this game is a commentary on video games. And then one day something okay. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. This voice Something is familiar. Quite forget. It's almost Stephen Fryish, but it's not. Exactly. When he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Hmm. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Wow, God, I forget. I forget. I'm running on a really nice computer, and everything looks so good. Better than the laptop that we're recording the video on. Yeah, we're recording our audio and video separately. Uh, we're recording our our audio and video on my laptop right there, and then we're recording the game on the game. Okay, so there you go. Okay. The visual kind of reminds me of being John Malkovich. Okay, so I use this key. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a you decision? You closed the door. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been right. trained for that. No. You just made this a decision. This could go anywhere except badly. What? The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, you really gotta listen happy. to the narrations. Forever. I am. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no what? longer had the ability to tell. <laughs> but the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this Do I need to turn on that light? He will be spoken to. He will be told Let's what try. to do. Okay. Now well, it's just, just a little bit wait. closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Will there be jump scares? No, th this isn't a scary game. Okay. But that's the end. Oh? Huh? That was the end? Like, that was game over? That was one ending. Okay. What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a okay. memo. Let's see what I missed. So yeah, this game is all about choice. Do you like this game so far? Uh, yeah. I mean, so I like Stanley the visuals. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be questioned. You're like, fuck it. Sure, why not? Yep. I didn't. I did not like being stuck in my room, so I'll try to 
walk around as much as possible for Yet this one. There's not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Where's my boss? See, I don't like that. It's just creepy. It feels like... It's not a scary game, Paul. I promise you, it's not scary. Okay. I, I, I believe you, but... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. <laughs> I trust you, Morgan Freeman. It's not Morgan... It's not Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I promise you. I'm the real Morgan Freeman. Uh, executive bathroom. I want to see what the bathroom... Oh, I can't open it. I'm thirsty. Hmm. Locked. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from behind. him. Behind. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer <laughs> luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly That's opened funny. passageway. Yeah. That is funny. Look behind you. I thought there was going to be a jump scare, so I turned Paul, around. there's no jump scares. It's not a scary This game. is what happens if you play Five Nights at Freddy's as the like first game of this like series, you know. It's true enough. It traumatizes you. Wait, so uh, okay, let's try to go in down. It's like one of those like elevators from Alien vs Predator games. Did they are those games? Uh, there's a really really good game. Good game came out like. Ten years ago, called Alien vs. Predator 2. You can play as Marine, Alien, and Predator, and it's super fun. Didn't they make a new one that was awful Stanley of that one? That was not the Alien vs. Predator, but the Colonial Marines. That's right. That was awful. They're making one game called Alien Isolation, which is ju which is very similar really? to the first movie. Nice. That's good, because they made a lot of games based on the second movie. Yeah. But I like the, like, the horror slasher, like... It's very know. much like you 1v1, you versus exactly, Alien. Exactly, that's which what is I like. Straight ahead through the large door that read Whoa. Mind Control Facility. What did that sign say? Paul, go back? Mind no, not, that, not that one, go back. Go back. Oh. Now you have choice. What do you do? Do you escape or do you go to the mind control facility? Red rum. Okay. Um, I'll go into Red rum. I'll go into Red rum. Mind control facility. Red rum. No. Eh. Eh. Do it. Do it. The lights do. rose on an enormous room oh, packed with television cool. screens. Television what horrible screen. secret did this place hold? I mean, I like the visual. When does this game come out? Uh, I think last year. Looks really nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. Because I think it's on the Source Engine. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. I the love this. So many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm. Alright. But it's kind of sad, like, some of the images are, like, copied and repeated. Are they really? Yeah. If you see them closely, like... Well, they're dead. They're office. They're office spaces, so they're gonna be the same cubicle. But still... They're all different, though. Huh. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control? But look, some say time? fired. Was this yeah, the yeah. reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay, this is interesting. 
It gets really interesting. No. What's funny? He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Whatever I do, this guy will exaggerate it and over dramatize it and just like make it the greatest story ever. Yep. That's his job. That's why they pay him money. <laughs> well, it's like I recorded, um, I recorded a promo with Isaac for my school, and he was like, just like overdo it. <laughs> You did? Sad, yeah. Like, I recorded the entire working, thing. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this. You recorded only a part of it, right? As the yes. Cold reality yeah. of his past began to sink. But no, he made me record Stanley all of it. The English part. Yeah. English. Would never again exert its because I think what he's gonna do is have mine over the entire thing and have those different languages yeah. underlay mm -hmm. that. Because that makes sense. Yep. For all. James Old Drones. So you gotta sh so he wants you to shut down this machine. I think there's a way to shut down everything. Facility power. Okay. Let's look for one. Do you see? No, no, no. There's a big. Oh. <laughs> it's labeled, Paul. <laughs> they ain't gonna let you miss it. I mean, I'm I'm really. Stunned it's funny by the is that what's well, it's funny though is that you. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I'll let you. I'll tell you once we once we finish here. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Let's go for more interesting. Oh, Funny, Stanley. Paul. You, you finally, like... You the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn what? the controls off okay. and leave. If I'll turn it off. But see, the thing is, Paul, is that you you made all the right, de like, all the decisions it told you to make. Yeah. Except for that one. Uh, I just, I just thought it would be more interesting, but... Stanley it's now Morgan Freeman's giving me shit about the network's emergency detonation system. In what? the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Can I get the fuck out? Eliminating the entire complex. Can I go home now? How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say um, two no. minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Oh, it's but the visuals are amazing, though. You yeah. are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. I'm oh, this scared. is much like... better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb. Well, it's funny because you you literally just about every dis like there are so many decisions in this game, right? And I made all the right ones except for that one. No. There's no like there's no right way, but you you followed all of his instructions except yeah. for the last one. What's that? You'd like to know where your coworkers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Yeah, where's everyone? Right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing what? buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it no. go. But I'm sure I whatever die. I come up with on the next go I don't run, die. will be even better. My goodness, only 34 Shut seconds the fuck left. Up, Morgan Freeman. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <laughs> These are precious additional Dick. seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on No, I'm sure there's a way out. Oh dear me, what's the matter? I'm sure I can do something Is it about this. You have this? no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room what? was capable of turning it off? Oh. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Shut up! Buttons, no, these just mocking, buttons, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. 
Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video Something game here will save me. <laughs> one soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. Wow. You're in oh, what have you done? What have I done, man? It's funny, we're not we're barely talking at all. Because this is so intense and it's taking away. You know what? This you're is good. It's like such a good game. Yeah, like for every moment that you're powerless. It, it was my first try. If I like try it again, yeah, like, no, make well, the a thing lot is, is it starts over and you just keep playing. Exactly. I've played a really, really, really similar game. Like it was a simple flash game three years ago. I forgot what it's called though. There's but, a game there. Well, the, uh, Stanley Parable was originally a mod of I think Half Life Two. Of what? Half Life Two. Yeah. Um, oh, Half Life. Yeah, I've heard of it. I I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um. Stanley Parable was originally a mod. Make it count. Good day, lie, employee four two two. All a part of the joke. And believe no. me, I will be laughing. It's six seconds. Paul, it's been fun. No. No. Oh come on. Okay, I want to try it again. I Don't click it. anything. I want to try. The it end again. is never the end is never the end. Now are you getting what it means? <laughs>done is done everything it's told you to so you haven't really sunk into it this is the shortest and quickest way to play the game aha okay so i'm back here again and now this time i'm gonna try pushing on oh stanley you didn't just activate the controls oh i like you i'm so sorry you're supposed to hit all i'm so sorry we did it again yeah begin the game again. oh okay fast forward again or yeah, just keep it. Let's try it different. What? 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 Why is everything different? What the fuck? Have you ever had this before? Yeah, I mean, it, it sometimes happens, but... Okay, go, I guess, go go around. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stand I guess it's just... To go to the meeting. <laughs>
god, I haven't seen you in like so long. Yeah, yeah, this I guess it's been a while. So oh my god, Paul, how are you? Off, all of it off, monitored and commanded off, from off, this off, 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 and as the cold reality on, of his past off, began to off, off, on, Stanley decided on. just do everything over again. Duck season, wabbit season. Okay. Don't tell me that's like the end, and that's gonna take me to the. Walk forward. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. Listen to that fucking he music. Won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For you it jump, was not space or even no, time that he had I been seeking. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer See, there's the commentary on the games. Perhaps it had not been to understand, but to let. <laughs> There's so much commentary on games in this. His, and that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation. Hmm. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now. But where is civilization? To happen. Except for that quarter. Stanley was happy. How long have we been going for? Stanley happy. Like half hour? Yeah, exactly half hour. Ish. Okay. So we will cut here mm -hmm. and then do the same. We'll keep on saying parable. Yeah. Um, so yeah, cut.